Welcome back to the legendary Howard Theater, Beyond the Lens, Sounds of the Streets. Well, you know, it's not just music that entertains the people. There's a little bit of magic that's involved in it as well. Fox 5 photojournalist Dan Gudovich takes us inside one man's back tricks. This is what happens when you make your career decisions at age three. most about street magic is people have no idea that you're gonna be there. What's your name? I'm Ashley. Ashley, that's correct. They're completely surprised that you're even there and that they're meeting a real magician and then you surprise them with the effect. <laughs> they're not anticipating a show, they're just strolling along, enjoying their day, and boom, something impossible happens. Whoa! It's a communication. Ow. <laughs> you know, I'm communicating with the audience. So what I'm about to show you is completely impossible, and they see it visually anywhere, anywhere, right there. So their response comes back to me as another communication. The queen of clubs. <laughs> it feels like I've just snapped them out of oh, a moment where they may have been jaded or felt like they'd seen everything, and then suddenly I show them something new and they light up. <laughs> the apex, the, the crux, the biggest moments are often these little things that happen all day as people drop their barriers <laughs> after seeing some magic. And you're just really kind of touching someone's day for a brief moment, and then they move on and they're like, wow. So it's cool to be able to kind of connect with people on that level anywhere. And randomly, when they're not even expecting it. I'm exploring the changing uh, realities of the audience and, and shifting my street magic to match that. Throughout the years, I would roll a coin down the back of my hand, and I would borrow a coin from somebody and make it disappear. But now, many people aren't carrying coins. Thank you for that face. I used to be known for this floating wand that I would fly around an area, and people would go, whoa, and they'd be totally blown away. And slowly that faded, and I changed it to a selfie stick, you know, with a camera on top, and then I would float that and suddenly, bam, it was whoa again. Whoa! Whoa! So I'm shifting the street magic that I do to stuff that people would have in their pockets ready to go. Can you turn your cell phone screen on for me? Cell phones, credit cards, all of those things people use every day. That's what I want to do magic with. So the street magic is real to them. I need it to be extra, extra shiny, relevant to them, right through the middle here, and even stronger to them. Yeah. My favorite part about being a magician is all the people you get to meet. <laughs> 